Where am I? <laughs> You're in Russia. Have I gone back in time? No, this is just how it is. Are you a farmer? Worse. Technically, my landlord owns me, which makes me a serf. I'm scared. You should be, because I haven't eaten in four days, and you look pretty tasty. Hey, Jimmy, how are your travels? <laughs> I hate you! My lord, we're falling behind the rest of Europe. It's time to industrialize, give the people rights, and share your power. Hey everyone, it's me, Tsar Alexander II, and I've got some big news. I'm releasing you all from your serfdom. You're all free. Yes! Yep, I'm the best. Oh, there is one thing though. I spoke to your local lords and they weren't happy about losing all their free labor. So as a compromise, you're all gonna have to pay them back a near impossible amount of money for the next 49 years. Expect your lives to barely change. Okay, bye. You're gonna kill the czar? Well, me, no. I'm busy. I was kinda hoping you'd do it. Okay. They're throwing flowers, confetti, and high-grade explosives. Boy, look at me. The people did this to me. And one day, they'll do it to you! See? Wasn't scary at all. Non-Russians? More interested in their own cultural heritage than in loving me? Isn't it great? So much beautiful culture and diversity in our great nation. Now that's how you run a country. Hey, Dad? Ugh, great. It's my son, Nicholas, who I like to call a girly girl because he's so weak and pathetic. When are you going to grow up? <laughs> eh, you still look like a girly girl to me. But, Dad, I grew a beard. Yeah, an ugly girly girl beard. <laughs> Oh no! I'm not yet ready to be czar. I know nothing of the business of ruling. <coughs> Bit of an awkward time to bring it up. A massive ill-tempered jerk. You fat-headed, simple-minded, vapid, cockeyed imbecile! Tenderheart Bear is a far superior Care Bear to Bedtime Bear. <laughs> Enjoy exile, where you'll live with your wife, chill around town, and secretly write socialist newspapers. Hey, that doesn't sound so bad. And your mother-in-law is going to live with you. No! And even people like you could get a girlfriend. You pig ignorant, half-witted, fatuous morons! Cereal is a soup! Listen, Lennon, you're a smart guy, but you have no idea what you're talking about. We're out of here. All in favor of cereal being a soup? Hey, would you look at that? We're in the majority. Cool. A free hat. Who the heck are you? I'm definitely not a Russian secret police officer spying on Marxists. Have you quarantine binged all of your favorite shows on Netflix? Well, with NordVPN, you can watch the Australian version. A massive ill-tempered jerk. Hey, Nick, we really got to industrialize, get more factories, and make some, I don't know, textiles or something. Hmm, won't that change the social fabric of Russia? Maybe. Hey, isn't it past your bedtime? But I haven't had my milk and snuggles yet. Will you snuggle me? Um... Nicholas thought modernization was boring. Sexy workers. Dirt poor sexy workers. Why don't we find a weak and pathetic nation to go to war with? We'll win easily, and everyone will love me again. Why don't we just try treating the people better? We've got the largest army in the world. What do you have? I'm the emperor of Japan. I have a giant mecha suit. Whoa. Cool. Hey, everyone. We're at war with Japan. Hey, everyone. We're losing the war. Hurry up, Martha. There's a war out here. The more you tell me to hurry up, the slower I will go. Nicholas needed snuggles now more than ever. Hello, good sir. And long live the czar. Please, allow me to pass this simple petition to our dear father, Nicholas II. Good day to you too. Please, allow us to respond by opening fire. Slight change of plan. Actually, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want, and you guys are going to shut up. What? The people won't stand for this. People? What people? You know, this is why people don't like you. Step one, reform agriculture. This will make the peasants love you. And step two, uh, we'll kill anyone who doesn't. I don't get it. Oh, I see. Because it goes around my neck. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean kidnapping, robbing, extorting, bribing, ransoming, assassinating, prison breaking, stealing, bank raiding, executioning, and stealing again. Hey Stalin, the Mensheviks aren't so hot in all this stealing, but we still need money. So the next time you do a big heist, just do it quietly. Okay, quietly. God. If this isn't quiet, 
I don't know what is. This is great. All Nicholas has to do is sit back and not mess anything up. Hey everyone, big news. I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend. He's a crazy, drunken, beardy, horny, scandal-ridden magic wizard man, and he smells like a goat. We're screwed. Mamma mia, that's a lot of blood. Not only was he a big fan of alcohol, but he'd also throw these crazy parties with Russian nobility, where he'd and all night long, and then he'd his whole head not a guy's and nobody knew how the goat got on the roof. I hope Russia loses. Jeez, read the room, Lenin. Dimitri, we need to win this war. I need someone with a great military mind to step in and take control. You're right. How about General Hickelooper? How about me? You can't run the war. Who'll be in charge of the country while you're gone? Obviously, my German wife and a homeless wizard. Duh. It wasn't a good look. <laughs> Dude. Very cool. Hey, it's Rasputin. The sexy party is running a little late, but in the meantime, why don't you try one of these totally not poisoned cakes? Dude, why'd you say it like that? He's totally gonna know they're poisoned now. Shut up. I said they're not poisoned. Dude, he just ate so much poison. How is he still alive? It must be the magic. Go with plan B. Is he dead? See, Boris, I told you he was the Antichrist and you didn't believe me. Can you shut up for one minute and help me roll him up? Are you sure he's dead? I don't know, but I'm supposed to be hosting a charity auction right now. Can we get this over with? Okay, now he's dead. Come on, men. Remember what we're fighting for. Yeah, no, we're out. Nicholas, the troops have turned against us. The people have taken over the city. They've even cut my phone line. Hello? Hello? Hmm, the phones are down. Things must be bad. I'd better go back there. Hey, buddy. Daddy couldn't handle the complex socioeconomic problems of a giant multinational, multi-ethnic empire that's engaged in total war with all of Europe. You think you could give it a shot? Who wants to start a revolution? I mean, a revolution. Dang it! Oh boy, Lenin's coming home. I can't wait for him to see all the great things we've accomplished. And I'm gonna show him my fan art. Oh look, here he comes now. Shut up, shut up! You all suck! The provisional government sucks, the Soviet sucks, even your fan art sucks. <laughs> Why does he have to be so mad? If Lenin wanted to go from whiny irrelevant zero to a hunky communist hero, he'd need to shake things up a bit. This sucks! Now I'll never get to have my revolution. Why are you wearing a dress? It's a disguise, idiot! And it makes me feel pretty. Hey, thanks for the help, boys. Couldn't have done it without you. Now that there's no longer any threat, how about you, uh, return all those guns I gave you? Hmm. No. Oh, no! In order to kill a rat, Kerensky had just given a gun to a bear. A Bolshevik bear. Is it safe to come out yet? I think so. Fear my revolutionary might. Give me that. Hey, Lenin, before we took power, they were planning on holding elections. Shall we go ahead with those? Of course. You can't have a communist utopia without high levels of political participation. The proletariat should be free to we elect lost. What? The social revolutionaries won. We lost. Those don't count. No. Lenin said, see, they're disobeying me. Proof they're counter-revolutionary. Shut it down, boys. Hey, Lenin. Are you setting up a dictatorship? I'll shoot you if you are. Of course not. What a crazy theory. Anyway, I'm pleased to announce I'm setting up a secret police force to repress and kill traitors. And by traitors, I of course mean anyone not loyal to me. Owie, 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 owie. Look, I know it's not great, but I think we have to accept it. Are you insane? This will ruin us. Hey Trotsky, you got a big brain. What do you think? How about no war, no peace? What's that, Mr. Trotsky, sir? It's simple. No war means we'll stop fighting the Germans, but no peace means we won't sign the peace treaty either. Then, when the Germans see we've just stopped fighting, they'll have to leave us alone or something. Trotsky, that's genius. I could kiss you. Do you want me to kiss you? Stop asking me that. Lenin, you've pissed off so many people that they've united against you. We're under attack. Relax, we always expected some counter-revolutionary pushback. I think we can handle a few angry Monopoly men. But Lenin, it's not just the Monopoly men. Okay, who are we up against? Well, the liberals, the social revolutionaries, national separatists in Poland, Finland, and the Ukraine, independent warlords setting up chiefdoms, anarchist rebels, the green peasant armies, the Cossacks, the Caucasian states, the Baltic states, the British, the French, the Americans, and the Japanese. Oh, and a legion of Czechoslovakian soldiers seem to have taken over the Trans-Siberian Railway and stolen all the imperial gold reserves. What? How could this get any worse? Oh, and it says here your mother-in-law is coming to stay. No! 
Wow, that was a close one. Okay, back to creating a communist utopia. How are we doing on that? Well, the Civil War helped create a massive famine and about 5 million people starved to death. There's massive inflation and the ruble is worthless. Hundreds and hundreds of kilometers of railway track have been destroyed. Disease and epidemics have killed 3 million. The population of Moscow and Petrograd has collapsed. Life expectancy has plummeted. Sailors in Kronstadt are rebelling. People are freezing to death in their own apartments and life has been reduced to a constant search for food and shelter. Whoa. Well, this just means I'll have to work twice as hard.